National Center on Education and the Economy has been studying the best performing national education systems for 25 years. We've learned a lot about what makes them tick. Here are a few of the most important things. All or almost all are now providing more resources for the kids who are harder to educate than the kids who are easier to educate. Second, what we see in these countries is very strong support for young children from the time of conception until the time they get to school. Third, we see very strong national instructional systems, by which I mean internationally benchmarked standards, a very strong curriculum, and assessments that are very high quality and based on the curriculum. The aim here in these countries is to move way beyond basic skills to more advanced and more complex thinking skills of the kind that's required by a modern economy. Next, what we see is a move in these countries from recruiting from near the bottom of the kids coming out of high school to recruiting from near the top and to greatly strengthening the system for teacher quality all the way through. Finally, what we see in these countries is attention to the kinds of changes that need to be made to their vocational education and training systems to modernize them so that kids coming out of school and going into the workforce are easily uh, absorbed by the new, new economy and become productive early. All these things constitute what we see as the modern education system in the most advanced and most successful countries. I just shared with you what the top performing countries' education systems are doing to get to the top and to stay on the top. For a country that either wants to stay on the top or to become one of those countries, the most important thing you can do is study these countries very carefully not with an eye to copying any one of them, but with the aim of learning as much as possible from all of them. That takes a lot of information and a lot of analysis. That's what education policy outlook is all about. I think of all of the operations of OECD, none could be more important. 